Hi lovelies, I bring to you another mind-blowing video. Today, we are making cucumber stew. Due to the high cost of fresh tomatoes in the market, Gas Kitchen invented this recipe of making delicious stew out of cucumbers. I gave it a try and guess what? It turned out so, so delicious. And many people have been asking, can a big pot of stew be made from cucumbers? And the answer is yes. This big pot of stew was made from cucumbers. If this country decides to play a fast one on us, then we will always be 10 steps ahead. Just keep watching. Let me show you how I made this big pot of stew without fresh tomatoes. Hit the like button, take a seat and let's dive in. It's cucumber stew, right? So cucumber is king in this recipe. We'll be using some chicken. Feel free to use any proteins of your choice. We're going to be using some bell peppers and scotch bonnet peppers. We have some homemade tomato paste. We have some jangsa. We have some white pepper, garlics, calabash nutmeg, or what is locally called bebe. We have some ginger and some leeks. We equally have some celery stems and some sliced basil and celery leaves. To begin with, let's prepare our marinade. So into a blender, we add in the sliced celery stems. We come in with ginger, garlic, white pepper, calabash nutmeg, and our njansa. What is Cameroon stew without Jansa? No way. Jansa is actually a must when Cameroon stew is concerned. It actually adds a lot of flavor and thickness to your stew. So we blend our ingredients to be very, very smooth. And we use part of the marinade to marinate our chicken. So we use just half and we reserve half for later use. We add in one seasoning cube and some salt. Then we proceed to give this a good mix. And if you want to take your chicken to another level, then add in a tablespoon of mustard. I am using Dijon mustard equally coming with some curry powder and then you stir in all the ingredients to blend well we set aside to marinate for about 30 minutes and then we bring to a boil let's proceed to chop and blend our cucumbers unlike gas kitchen I am going to blend my cucumbers with the skin and the seeds. That is the twist I am giving to this recipe. If you taste and your cucumber skin is bitter, then feel free to peel it off. I'm leaving mine because the skin is not bitter. And I see no reason throwing away the seeds. So we are blending everything. All the nutrients must remain in our stew. We add in just a little water to help turn the blades of the blender. If your blender can blend well without water, fine and good. Go ahead to blend without water. So we blend till very, very smooth. And then using a sieve, we drain out all the water from the cucumber. All we need is the cucumber paste. So I blended the second batch of camera and I'm putting them together. So at this point, I'm going to use a spatula to gently move around and drain out all excess water. So I'm done draining and this is what we have. Here is our cucumber juice. Mind you, we are not throwing the water away. This is a healthy juice to consume and this is our cucumber pulp and this is what we need for our recipe 
So I went ahead to cut and deceit the bell peppers of camera. So let's proceed now to blend our peppers. Into the blender, we add in the bell peppers and the scotch bonnet peppers. And we proceed to blend till smooth. Once we are done blending, we set that aside. And then at this point, let us check on our chicken on the fire. It's been boiling for about 10 minutes. And at this point, we'll add in some water and we cook till tender. Our chicken is ready. Let's proceed to grill our chicken. On an oven tray, I will line it with aluminum foil paper and then we gently place our chicken on top. Please feel free to fry your chicken. And here is our chicken stock we reserve for later use. And into the oven, we bring in our chicken and we let it grill for about 30 to 40 minutes. This is just to give some texture to the chicken. Like I said, you can equally choose to fry. Let us proceed to make our stew. Into a pot, we add in some cooking oil. Then we proceed to saute some onions. Once the onions become fragrant, we come in with our tomato paste. This is homemade tomato paste. I will leave a link on how to make your tomato paste at home at the end of this video. Watch out for that video. At least you know what you are consuming. And to easily stop the tanginess in tomato paste, add some salt while frying. We then proceed to add in our pepper mix. This is the blended bell peppers and scotch bonnet peppers or hot peppers. We fry for about five to seven minutes and then we come in with our cucumber paste. We let it fry for some time while stirring from time to time and once you see oil floating at the top it means our stew is well fried and it's time for us to add in our remaining marinade you remember the marinade we set aside earlier yes bring it in at this point and you stir that in very well have you liked this video have you booked the like button if not, what are you waiting for? Smash the like button below to support this video. YouTube made it free of charge. Please don't be selfish with the like button. Smash the like button and support this video. Thank you. And it's time for us to come in with some seasoning. We come in with one seasoning cube. Remember we added salt when frying our tomato paste. So we equally add in some more curry powder for that extra flavor and color as well. If it's your first time stopping by here, you are most welcome. Hit the subscribe button to join this beautiful community where we share amazing recipes, health tips, and DIYs. And at this point, we come in with our leeks. Do you like adding vegetables or greens into your stew? Leave a comment in the comment section. So equally add in some sliced basil and celery leaves. This is just to give the stew some color as well as some more flavor. As you can see, the stew is very thick. So we come in with our chicken stock. I equally went ahead 
to add in about half a cup of water. I wish you could perceive the aroma in my kitchen at this moment. It is just so heavenly. Let's check on our chicken in the oven. As you can see, our chicken is ready. If you like yours a bit browner than this, maybe you let it stay for some 10 to 15 more minutes. I love it just the way it is. So at this point, we proceed to add our chicken into the stew. After adding in the meat stock and water, the stew becomes very splashy, so it's advisable to cover the pot at this point. Just take a look at our stew. It is cooking so, so nicely. Can you imagine there are no fresh tomatoes in this stew? And to think I bought these seven large cucumbers just for 500 francs. Oh my God. The moment you realize fresh tomatoes are so expensive, I bet you just switch to cucumber stew. At this point, our stew is ready. So let's proceed to serve. We will be having this delicious cucumber stew with some rice. And this is our locally cultivated rice in Cameroon, locally known as Ndop rice. Mm, this is my best moment. Look at our stew. The stew is giving. The stew is stewing, guys. Are you giving this a try? Leave a comment in the comment section. Take a look at our cucumber stew. Can you believe this stew was made from cucumbers? Oh my God. Please give this video a like if you haven't done so yet. That is so, so important to me. Thank you. Let us proceed to have a taste. Guys, my mouth is watering already. Just the aroma from this stew. Mmm. Oh my God, so, so delicious. So yummy. Just the same as stew made from fresh tomatoes. The chicken as well is so soft and juicy. Please give this a try and come back here to give me reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.